yes uh kingdom greetings to you wherever you are in the name of jesus my name is apostle kamili kijana welcome to my live broadcast and uh for those of you i who have been following me up and praying for me i want to to bless the lord because of you i wanna I want to commend you for the great job that you're doing for me and for the kingdom of God. And for those of you I think who are watching for the first time, please share this video, subscribe to my channel on, here on YouTube. You can also share on WhatsApp, on any groups, every place that you feel like you can share because this is one way of how you supporting these works of God. I want to appreciate you for those who have already subscribed and you continue. You can also comment and let me know where you're watching us from and what exactly you're doing for the kingdom of God. I really appreciate you for that and it is good. Thank you so much. I, I am coming live to you from Bogoma County. I hope everywhere that you are, you blessed, you've seen God doing greater things on your behalf. I really appreciate God for you. Today it has been a wonderful day. And uh, we really appreciate God because of what has happened. We have had a very peaceful election yesterday. And today it has been announced the winner of the senatorial seat of Bogoma County. And we wish him well. And uh, we pray that God continues in the beginning, reigning in this country of Kenya. But uh, today, the Lord has given me and I have been, I've been asking God and God has laid something in my heart to share with you. And I think I will be sharing with you in, I will be mixing this language. I will be mixing Swahili and English for you, my listeners, to get what exactly that I'm talking about. So today... I want us to talk about the word, uh, there is this word called eschatology. Eschatology, what is eschatology? Many people, you know, in your own ways, in various ways, you've heard about eschatology, and you may be wondering what, what does this word eschatology mean, and what does it stand for, and why do we bring eschatology in my teachings today? First of all, I want to let you know what it means by eschatology. Eschatology, in simple terms, it means the dangers of the last days. Because Jesus was speaking about the last days and what, what will be the happening of the last days. And, but in the last days, we have the dangers, the dangers of these happenings. So whenever things happen, there are dangers in these last days. And where we are living in right now, these are the dangers of the last days. So the, the dangers of the last days, they affect whether you're born again or you're not born again. The dangers are there to affect you because who causes the dangers of these last days is none other than the devil. So the devil doesn't know. The devil doesn't have a friend. If you become a friend of the devil, then you must know that you're going you're gonna to reap the fruits of dangers. You're going to reap the fruits of jealousness. You're going to reap the, the, the fruits of, you know, and gratefulness because the devil is never grateful. The devil never appreciates. However much you, you dedicate yourself to serving the devil, the devil will never appreciate you. However much you put a lot of efforts in serving the devil, the devil will never appreciate you. This is why this is the reason. You know, when you look at the uh, fruits of the devil, the fruits of the devil, when you look in the Bible, the Bible talks about the fruits of the, you know. Uh, it speaks volume about the fruits of the devil, the fruits of the flesh. Hallelujah. And the devil knows it very clearly. So today I want to encourage you and to let you know that as we live in today, we need to understand that the dangers of the last days, what are those dangers of the last days? So we need to ask ourselves, and how are we going to escape the wrath of the last days, the dangers of the scatology. Nirushu nizugumze nawe katika lugha ya Kiswahili na zungumzia neno eschatologia. Manake eschatologia ni hatari za nyakati za mwisho. Watu wengi 
wameshangaa kwamba hatari hizi ni zipi na nimesema kwamba hatari hizi zitawapata wale wanaomjua Mungu na wasiomjua Mungu manake katika hatari na hatari hizi zinatokana na hizi hatari ni matunda ya muovu manake muovu hana urafiki kwa hiyo kuna wale ambao wanaweza sema kwamba wanataka wawe marafiki pengine atabia zao na mienendo zao zinashirikiana pamoja na mienendo za muovu ibilisi lakini ukweli ni kwamba jamani hatari hizi sitakuadhiri wewe unaye unaye unayetembea katika njia za shetani na wale ambao wanatembea katika njia za Mungu lakini kile kinachotusaidia kufahamu ni kwamba kwa sababu wale ambao wameshamwamini Kristo tayari wanafahamu ya kwamba hatari hizo zili, zili kuwepo manake Yesu mwenyewe alishatabiri manabii walishatabiri kwamba nyakati za mwisho hivi ndivyo kutakuwepo kwa hiyo nataka nikueleze leo ya kwamba katika nyakati hizi tunazoishi ndugu atampiga ndugu ndugu atapigana dada atapigana na dada watu hawatapenda hawatakuwa nampenda Mungu watu watakuwa napenda anasa zao za ulimwengu watakuwa napenda mambo yao watu watakuwa napenda fedha sana hawatakuwa nampenda Mungu watu watakuwa nafanya mambo yanayopendeza mili zao hizi ndizo hatari manake baada ya kufanya maafa baada ya kufanya kama vile mwili unavyohitaji basi msaada mshahara wake basi ndio biblia inasema mshahara wa dhambi ni mauti lakini mshahara wa wokovu basi ni uzima wa milele kwa hiyo katika nyakati za mwisho tunazo njia mbili ambazo zimewekwa mbele zako waweza ukachagua kwenda kwa njia ambayo ni ya kumpendeza Mungu maana njia ya kumpendeza Mungu itakupa wewe kupata uzima wa milele lakini kila ambacho kitafanyika kwamba ukienda mbadala ukienda katika ile njia mkabala basi wewe utaingia katika ile sehemu ya kusema kwamba kwa sababu umekubaliana na shetani basi utatembea naye na hatima yako itakuwa ni mauti maana mauti hiyo itakuwa ni kwamba itakuwa inamaliza inaua mwili inaua roho lakini upande huu maandiko yanasema ya kwamba itakuwa tu imeua mwili tu lakini roho bado moyo utakuwa naishi roho your spirit shall forever live so my brothers my sisters i want to encourage you today that as much as we commit ourselves so much to service but we need to understand which side are we are we on the side of righteousness or we are on the side of unrighteousness because this is what will determine our fate in this life and the life to come because we all know we want to be to be aware to know how the devil is a liar how how dangerous these things are because eschatology is here with us eschatology the dangers of the last days are with us today look how the world is running look how people are happening to and today i also wanted us to share and look at why why the dangers of this last days imesha badilishwa mpaka leo ipo kanisani leo nataka uangalie ukubaliane na mie kwamba kuna watu ambao sasa wameshaangalia kwamba kanisa halimfuati Kristo kwa sababu ya kumfuata watu wengi wameenda kutafuta mbinu ya kuleta muujiza kanisani ili sasa wale waganga waliokuwepo katika ulimwengu leo hawaganga wameletwa kanisani na uganga unafanyika kanisani in in terms of you know miracles but when you look at the miracles because when you uh, we realize what is a miracle the miracle is for unbelievers non believers so that for a non believer to believe that god exists a miracle must be performed but how are we going to look at this divine divine miracles hallelujah how are we going to differentiate hilo ndilo tatizo but god has laid a, something in my heart so that we may, we must be, we i we need to begin teaching people to understand what is the divine miracle and what are the fake miracles because you can see today people are doing business in the church but we need not just to look to sit and watch tuahitaji kusimama na kusema kwamba hili ni kweli na hili si kweli because we have a responsibility as dead believers as people who go, who go to church we have a responsibility to correct things that are going wrong look at it i was one day i was speaking i was ministering and i was 
I ask the people kwamba tazama ile kalenda ambayo imebeba picha ya Kristo. Hiyo kalenda haisaidi chochote hata kama umeiweka hiyo picha ya Kristo kwa nyumba yako haiwezi pigana na mapepo. Mapepo yatapigana na wewe ambao unamjua Mungu na unasimama kwa umsimamo wa kweli wa kusema kwamba ninasimama kwa miguu ya imani kwamba mapepo zinaondolewa lakini kuna watu leo ambao wametoa stika stika wanaziuza wanauza kwamba nunua stika nenda ukaweke kwenye duka la biashara nenda ukaweke kwenye assembly yako nenda ukaweka kwa, kwa chumba cha malazi nenda ukaweke mpaka vioni mpaka nikashangaa kuna wale ambao wameweka mpaka zile stika kwenye vio wameweka stika kwenye magari yao wameweka stika mpaka pale kwenye kit, uh, sehemu za kitanda usemu ya kichwa ya kitanda kwamba stika zile zinazuia mapepo nataka nikueleze hizo ni roho za uchawi na ni roho za kufumba macho anayeweza kukusaidia kukulinda ni Mungu na Mungu huyu anahitaji wewe you need to connect yourself with God because when you connect with God God will fight for you and will protect every property that you own. He is a good God. He will do it for you. So this is no time, you know, to waste a lot of your resources investing God's things than going out there building faith in other things. The Bible talks about kujenga imani katika Kristo. Haijazungumzia kujenga imani katika stika. Kuna wale ambao leo wamepewa maji. Maji wanauziwa. We serve as the same God. The God who purifies that water can purify the water that you have. And when he purifies that water, you can use the water because it has been purified by God himself. But uh, this water that you are being bought, that you are being sold to. What is the source of that water? What is the source of that water? Every source of water, the source is God. And if the God who purifies water and it becomes holy then he can do it for you. So my brothers do not be cheated. I am out here to warn you. Do not be cheated. A miracle working God he works differently. He works for you he has hayalishi. He is no respect of persons. He is God. He will do it for you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you wherever you are. Just so that God is there for you and is going to work out for you. So let's know that we have a book here. It is called The Antichrist. The Antichrist, this is the book that is out there and you can get one for you. And I am sure it will help you. It has a lot of teachings about the Antichrist. It has teachings about the dangers of the last day, the scatology and all that. So that is what we're doing. So I appreciate God and because God is going to help you I pray for you that you do not be deceived by what men of the cloth have turned themselves into but God is raising a man also we are not interested God is interested in seeing you know the truth and the truth shall set you free hallelujah so praise God because I know it is going to be alright with yourself God bless you I just wanted to let you know that we are living in the days that has dangers of the last days days that have dangers of the last days these are eschatology moments the moments that the lord prophesied jesus prophesied and he said many people will come in my name they will prophesy they will do miracles they will preach in my name they will pray in my name but the bible warns us that we shall know them by their own fruits hallelujah so god bless you again You can let me know where you have watched this video from and please don't forget about to subscribe. When you subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends, with your family, in your groups because this is the only way that you will support your brother, a man of God, a servant that needs your support. God bless you and have a wonderful day amen and amen